Do you and your team use Airtable? Well, let me show you JotForm Prefill 2.0's integration with Airtable. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly, and it's no surprise that most people would prefer to not fill out a form. However, if you receive a form that has important information pre-filled for you, like your name, your address, your email, you are more likely to finish the form fields that need your attention. And that's where pre-fill comes in. Now, I'm assuming that you already have the form that you would like to work with already integrated with Airtable. So I've chosen my form. I'm gonna go up to the top, up to publish. Then over on the left-hand side, we're going to choose pre-fill and then Airtable pre-fill. Now, if this is your first time connecting your Airtable account through the pre-fill section, you'll need to grab your API key and put it here. Now, since I've already connected mine, I'm just going to choose my account. Next, we're going to choose the base that we're going to work with, and I'm going to choose customers. Next, we're gonna select a table. I'm gonna choose sheet 27. And here is where we match Airtable to the form fields in JotForm. So I want to pre-populate their name and their email. Now, something else that is really neat is you can have hidden fields be pre-filled from Airtable. So for example, maybe you don't want them to see the years of service that they've had or the team that they're on. They don't need to see that, but you do on the back end. You can add a hidden field. And again, it'll be pre-filled by Airtable for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save settings. And if something happens and I forgot to add a field or I wanna go back, all I have to do is click on pre-fill settings. But from here, we can add a new pre-fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button and we can either choose over on the side with check boxes or if I want to search for someone in particular, I can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this and let's just choose Jenny. We'll create and we can see we have a very specific link just for Jenny. Now here we have a drop down and we can see it says editable or read only. So if we want Jenny to be able to change the fields that were pre-filled for her, you'll want to leave that on editable. Now, if you don't want them to make any changes, you can change it to read only. Then the three dots next to that, we can either send the invitation this way, we can copy the URL, we can rename it, or we can delete it. But let's go ahead and open this and see what this looks like. And there we go, we have her name and her email already filled out for her. So all she has to do is choose a date and time in which she wants to connect. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about connecting JotForm to Airtable for pre-fill functionality, please let us know and I'll see you next time.